I know, I gotta, I gotta move over to this computer. I haven't done it yet. Uh, we can just do the fucking whatever thing. I mean, the YouTube folks will hear this. Nobody else will hear it. All right. Five, four, three, two, go live. Yes. Every live. Oh, what up, oh. freak bitches? No, you can't rip off Holy Joe ripped Rogan. Joe Rogan just no, now. He's gonna kick our asses, dude. Joe Rogan could definitely kick our asses. Dude, have you seen I'm, the guy? I'm not all here right now, bro. You, know, you need to realize my brain is fucking fried at the moment. I know so you're you channeling Eddie Bravo. Like I got flat Earth theory. Oh, flat Earth. Earth. Who the fuck believes in the flat Earth? Hold hey on, guys. Welcome no, to we... Vanishing Gates. I'm Jay, your host, into the strange and the unexplained, and I am joined yet again by my intrepid co-host. The aneurysm having Jack. It's not an aneurysm. Sorry, maybe. stroke. Stroke, maybe. Stroking out Jack. I mean... Wait, that's the wrong side of it. I mean, you... There you go. I'm I don't think out. strokes attack only one here's side. Thing. I love this mic so fucking much. I know. The new studio just, is kind of nice. The problem is the I'm like looking at you, studio, looking up there, looking over here. I know, it's all And it just keeps like doing this. I'm like a camera. mess with your head. It's, it's pretty dope. It's fucking um, with me. I don't... It, you know, it's pretty good though. Hey, what's this cigar? I'm face fucking this mic right now. I'm I'm face banging this mic mic right now. That's why hey, my they, language. They don't cuss as much. We're trying to be more open to other audiences and trying to face bang this mic. Are you serious? I didn't say the. I didn't say fuck. You did. You literally said what did face I say fuck? fuck first, and then you said face bang. Well, now now you see we you you said the f word. Okay, you're you're clearly I, overstepping. You get a couple. What just, was it in uh, Be Cool I'm, with John Travolta? He's I'm talking just, to James Woods and they're driving at the beginning of the movie. He's like, you know how many times you can say the F word in PG-13 like movies? touching this microphone in a creepy way right now. I, I just mean, like went like this. Did like, you watch that Motley oh, oh, microphone documentary? I think you're watching the Why wrong kind of Why am I way too close to this fucking microphone right now? No, you're fine. Man. I think we both are just enjoying the sound of our own fucking voice in this podcast. I, I don't enjoy the sound of my voice. I but do. I'm glad you enjoy the sound of my voice. No, that's that's yeah. You're See right. How fast that's, that was. That's Cigar good. of the show. Come on. Oh, uh, oh, wait, we're, leave oh, the right, people right. on. PDR VLR. Um, a kinetic cut value line reserve. So it's just um cheap, <laughs> cheap. Yeah, cheap. I'm actually not smoking that same cigar. Uh, I told Jack to pick cigars, and he picked a different one for me. I don't know what it is, but it's Maduro, not a Connecticut. Because oh, God man. damn it, I love Maduro. I should have taken that one. Yeah, well. You wanted something thicker and wider in your mouth. I do like thick, wide things in my mouth. Mm. Anyway. So, we are in episode 90 of Vanishing Gates, dude. Are we? Yeah, we, we discussed this earlier. Yes, Reason. I know. But I vanished, you know, I vanished off the you gates. vanished off the gates? I vanished off the gates. Not as hard time. and fast as freaking Paco did. Mm. I tried to call him the other day. He didn't answer my call. I hope he didn't That's die. Funny. Paco Hashtag where's Paco? Oh, we did that Paco? before once, didn't we? Where we yeah, had a, he disappeared. A, a missing poster that he Nick, just, I think, put together for Paco. Uh, so what we were going to talk about? Um, oh yeah, we'll get back to flat Earth in a second because fuck you on that one, <laughs> um, dude. I feel like I like if if I look weird, everybody like really fucking pale. It's because I I had a really bad fucking day today, and I started panic attacking and stroking out, and I have like bad blood pressure. I went to the doctor once. And I'm on medication for it. So I went to the doctor, and the doctor looks at me and says, your blood pressure is 192 over 120. And she looks at me, and she goes, why aren't you dead? <laughs> and I sit here, and I go, what are you talking about? She's like, that's that's the level where you're going to have a, a brain bleed and die. A brain bleed? Yeah. The doctor said the term stroke. brain bleed? I can have a stroke and die. And you she's, I'm just like, bleed. This is a severe I'm brain sitting there bleed. like, okay, so I'm going to stroke out and die. I could stroke out and die right now. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, okay. And I look her dead in the eyes and I go, doctor, yes? At what point did you stop to think to yourself, I should tell the guy who could die at any second, he could die at any second, instead of saying, hold on, let me give you some fucking medication or something right now to help that. Uh, I mean, those brain bleeds, you got to mention that first. Hold on, okay? I, that's where you're at right now? You're not at the fact that this doctor looked at someone with 192 over 120 blood, 128 blood pressure and said, um, you could die right now. Please tell me you were at the local ER when that happened. No. Oh, I was at a doctor. Oh, because there was a doctor. a doctor that I ran into there at one point. Not recently, because I was at the ER recently. I swear to God. Foot. I'm like watching myself in this monitor. I'm just like... I know. It's weird it's having fucking, the multiple I, monitors. I like That's why I'm trying to avoid them. I like this. To, like, me. I don't like that. This is this is throwing me off. You can go with this. Or you can go with that. You can go with whatever. I'm I'm going with everything right now. I'm just like fucking looking at. It. But anyway, so my head fucking hurts. I'm like dead tired, and if I look white and pale and kind of fucked up, it's because of that. 
And the studio doesn't have the best lighting. Yeah, well, that's true. But no, I'm just like, my, my head hurts, and I'm just, uh, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well health-wise or mentally. Jack has had a really bad week. Did I tell you what Jack happened when Jack went to the dentist? What Jack happened when Jack went... What happened when Jack went to the dentist? Alliteration aside, please explain. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't literate right now. I'm illiterate. Anyways, doctor, um, he sits down, he says, Jack... Or, sorry, he doesn't say Jack. That's not my name. <laughs> he goes, uh, sir, I think we should just fit you for dentures. <laughs> oh, you sir? He's like, we should just fit you for dentures. And I'm like, can we save my teeth instead? And he's like, probably, probably not worth it. Drops? Like, probably not worth it. It's dope. Do they have it's adult like, teeth It's going to cost too much fucking money to fix your face. And I'm like, okay. Do your dentist Why? Say- it's going to cost too much fucking money. It'll cost roughly $30,000. And he's the cheapest dentist in town. Maybe it's the sodas and the cigars. It is both of these things. And it is bad and oral hygiene. Non-flossing. I will say this right now. When a young child child looked at me, I think you know this young child. I don't. Tiny tiny one. No. And she looked at me and she goes. I've never heard of a child. She, she goes, uncle, oh. teeth look bad. Look at her and I go. Yes, sweetie, they look bad. They're bad. They're all bad. They're bad. And I said that. I said they're bad. And it's a fucking nightmare. It's, if you look at my, if I showed you my teeth, you would you would not be able to eat for like a day. But I, that's a joke. It's a joke. They're just bad. They're bad. And so I look at her and I go, sweetie, because she was supposed to be brushing her teeth. And I say, sweetie, look, you need to go brush your teeth. She goes, but I don't want to. And I said, okay, hold on for a second. And I lean over. You large marched And her? I looked her right in the eyes and said, you want to see why you should brush your teeth? You large marched a child? And she's like, yeah. You want to see something scary? <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm like, you want to see why you should do this? Christ. And You're anyway, so man. I uh, I lean back and I just grab this, just this side of my face, not even the other. You half, fish hook to yourself? And I fish hook and I drag it back. She screams, cries, runs inside shouting Nana. <laughs> it's because that kid's seen fucking Beetlejuice. You weirdo. And so she's like God. crying. I terrified a child with my teeth, dude. That's that's pretty bad. I mean, I got oh, I, I have pliers. No, I so, have stuff to make fake. So the teeth. reason this actually costs so much is because I have a cleft. This this jaw or my uh, the right half of my jaw has collapsed. It's collapsed. All the teeth on this side have collapsed into my jaw. So there's an abscess and um, some other problems. I'm not I'm not a doctor nor an orthodontist, but you should probably try to fix that. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Actually, that's why I went to the dentist in the first place. So I'm fixing that. Nope. Uh, anyway, so now get that rid of we're get the dentures. That's off. probably why your blood pressure is so high. You know, that <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure that's exactly the what it is. plaque in your mouth can actually fuck up your heart and your blood flow. You know that, right? No, but now I do. And yeah, wait, no, I knew. That's yeah, I'm lying. Battle. I actually fucking knew. Anyway, so we my, are one of my back best friends here. is a uh, dental assistant who mocks me constantly, informs me of this, and can't help you because he's an asshole. He doesn't work at the dentist. Okay. Oh my God! There's actually chat going on right now. Ignore it. it. Just popped up. Don't look. Um, don't look at the chat. Ignore the chat. Don't look at the We're chat. We're too cool. Chat's like dirty. Real men don't look at chat. That's not true. They walk away. So anyway, we're back at Vanishing Gates, episode ninety, almost a hundred episodes. You're ten episodes up, Nick? away for a hundo. In chat, he's talking just- about. Oh, sorry, I'm talking chat. Yeah, what's up, Nick and chat, and everybody else in chat? For those chat. folks listening on the many podcasting formats, oh, Podbeam, fucking iTunes, hell. Stitcher, where else are we at? Google Plus? I don't know. My fucking There's more. Like, um, Do you have blood I, you, pressure medication? I have it, If you fucking and I can't take stroke it right out right now, and it is not on camera, and it's saveable, and <laughs> makes us viral, I'm going to be pissed. If I stroke out on camera, I'll you have my permission to, stroke out. to absolutely show that shit. If it's not hilarious, you need to make comedy like it's fucking uh, Benny Hill. You got to make that fucking music, okay? I'm just saying. Uncontrollably drooling down yeah. one side of his If face. half my if it's it's going to be like stroke watch while Jack's on the show tonight. Stroke, stroke watch. watch. Oh you need to look. God. And if my eye starts to twitch and my mouth starts to droop and shit like that, you need to just like point it and be like, oh, Jack, and the first one to notice the stroke, if I have it, wins. What do they a win? T-shirt. A T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, covered so in my blood. If Jack has a stroke, and you're the first one to point it out on the live. Yeah. How are we going to quantify that? I don't know. I, we'll watch the chat, and then we'll read back to when that stroke was happening. I think so we the need first Nick person to set up some kind of ticker where they can yeah. hit a button. Nick, we'll so need Nick, a stroke watch. Watching. We need we'll a stroke, stroke watch button for Jack. We need to get that going. 
You could be like me and have a partial facial paralysis, you gob. That could happen, but I would rather just continue to be gorgeous and die instantly instead if I wasn't going to. I, I, if I stroke and my face starts to par- paralyze do you, do you like, have a DNR? like that, I'm just going to let it go. What? A do not resuscitate order? Or do you want to I stay should. alive as a veggie you know, if, if, until they fix it? If they try, just, just shoot me for me. Like you have my pr- this is my no, this dude, is no, 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 this no, no. is alive. Hold on, a dude shot his wife and went to jail almost for that shit, and then they found that she had actually written it in that he'd have to shoot her, and he got off on that. <coughs> I'm uh, sure well, he did uh, get off on that. Oh, see, Anywho. this is why I tried to correct that before you got there, but you were so no, fast. There's no way you're well, stroking it. My head was hurting earlier today, and I was texting my friend, and I caught it before I said it, but I almost said my head is throbbing, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> my head's that's not going to come off well. Oh, twice. You're on fire. All right, so, good Lord. Our 90th episode, we want to talk a little bit about the uh, extraterrestrials, the ETs, the aliens, no, no, visitors. No, no, hold on. What? You're neglecting the flat earth bullshit from earlier today when you Do called you me a get... flat earther, fucker. It was a joke, man. Okay, look. I have had conversations with people recently about flat earth, and I'm just going to say this oh right God. now. There is no such thing. No such thing as the flat earth. I mean, technically, no. there are. No. There, I have been informed by earth. Steve, the I universal mean... turtle that carries the universe on his back, <laughs> politely. He has told me. That there is no flat Earth. No, have you okay. ever seen like You're a crazy. model? They're flat. It's Earth it's just, flat. No, There's some dirt crazy. there. The dirt's Earth. Technically speaking, there could be a flat. Plain Earth. insanity. No, I watched that. Uh, beyond, uh, was it behind behind the dome? Is that what it's called or whatever? That documentary on Netflix. I think so. Yeah. Man, I think I talked about this on our little uh, Nick and I did a uh, heads up. Here's what's going on episode thing. Little commute public service announcement or whatever. And oh my god, dude, flat Earthers are phenomenal. And I would love to have flat Earth people on my show. I do. I, I I want them here. Hold on. The thing is, is I don't I don't dislike flat earthers. I don't think I don't actually like hmm. think little of them because no, no, they seem like the best that, people ever. To think that you have to be brave. Look, dude. I am not. I am not hating on people that believe in the flat earth. I just don't trust them to watch my kids. You know, I'm kind of worried every time Dave says she one head in chat. I sit here and I think, is that what he does to his girlfriend when he's in bed? He's married. Or his wife. She one head. Um, she I mean, one head. As big as Dave is, that she would cover most of her upper torso. He's a giant. I'm just, I'm just saying. He's a giant. He's a beautiful man. man. He's a big, beautiful man. Beautiful man. He's a BBM. Doesn't he have a big ass beard? I am so jealous of that. Uh, he he has no. It's a kind of a. He has like a. It's almost like a hipstery thing. Well, you know it's what? He almost beats me. Cool. I've got a <laughs> shitty goatee. I've got it. I look. You're, I actually. You're I trimmed this shit recently, and it looks better than it did. You were so lucky terrible. you have some ginger in your beard, or you would just look like you have look, like. Don't ever worms, call me soulless again. Worms hanging. Don't out ever of call your me soulless again. Shit, you weirdo. You can fuck off. Oh, Bridget in chat says, "Wow, the audio is so much better." Yes, 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 it is. yes Bridget it is. It's weird better. how when you spend money on things, things don't sound as. Shite. Thank you. Though. Love you. All right, so. Jack's almost doing ASMR. I could do ASMR if I want to. What does that mean? I'm pretty good at that. That's when you whisper into a microphone and you say things really low. And it causes like some kind of a fucking reaction to that or something like that. This is an NPR. Fuck that. Welcome to NPR and no. ASMR. No. No. No, no okay. NPR. All right. Fine then. Some I'm bitch. sorry. Anyway. It hides his So the earth is not <laughs> fucking flat. It's also okay, not a off, perfect sphere. If you think it's a thing. perfect sphere, you're no. almost as dumb as a flat Hold earther. on. It's, like, it's more like an oval. Sorry, dumb is okay. the wrong word. And here's the thing. It's more like an... It's, it's like... It's a really fucked up... Look. Like, it's more if like you a actually rock talk about the Earth itself. With some water and atmosphere around yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? The images I've seen it's that they, like they predict how it actually oval. looks, it's like... It's just like a fucked up scar. <laughs> it's got like very little land on it. And it's just like all broken up. Oh, I'm sorry, Bridget. I, I won't do it again. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Anyways, I still don't know what the fuck. I, I'm gonna have to look that up later because I'm pissed. dude. I saw one with the <laughs> they they did one with the Grinch, right? They did one with the Grinch. Who? And it was I don't know, like Disney or something like that did it, and it was so fucking creepy, dude. He walks in and they do. I'm just like Google Who's clicking the ticket YouTube for stroke watch later. Oh, okay, good. The stroke watch is coming <laughs> up. I don't know fucking, what the fuck you're talking about. It's starting to hurt. Anyway, so it's this um, ASMR of a fucking the Grinch, and it's this dude dressed up as him. And he comes in with this onion, he starts eating, he's like, oh, there's still this shit. I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm pretty sure I just had stranger danger and I need a fucking adult. Because this is creeping me the fuck out, dude. Like, I'm just sitting here watching, like, my life 
will never be the same. And I forgot it until just now. Thanks, Bridget. And now I am I am horrified again, all over again. I I don't know what the f- fuck you're talking about. Please don't yell in my head. I am currently dying. You're not dying unless you're attempting to get the stroke to go through, so that way we can get more hits. I very may- well may have a blood clot, by the way. I'm pretty sure Dave is signaling in chat that he shouts at his ass. Oh, it's Terrence and Philip, dude. I know. I was making a joke. How do you get Terrence and Philip on Facebook chat? That's dope. That is. How the hell do you do that, that, Dave? All right. So visitors, speaking of. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, in chat. Our tech guy. Amazing guy. Beautiful man. The one we that love helped him. set all this shit up from remote, by the way. I don't know how the hell he does these things. <laughs> I don't either because I, I I have a hard time checking my email sometimes. I'll I have was to be honest. Busy I, getting I, late. I, I play video know. games all the time. I don't know shit about like actually doing things. <laughs> well, good times. Are. All right. So aliens, visitors, the extraterrestrials, the ETs, the maybe interdimensional beings. Are you seriously texting on your phone right now, Tumor? Look, or I'm, stroke. I'm dying. You're not tumor. Nick's and tumor. You're I gotta stroke. say goodbye to everybody slowly. Okay. Give me a break. You're not dying. I'm probably dying. No, you're We're killing me, every though. Day. Some bitch. We're dying every day. There's Literally everyone's that, dying all the damn time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well. So, anyway. Turkeys. Anyhow. Talk about that. Dave and Chad is not wrong that he's cooler than me. I mean, he's in Canada. The temperature's got to be lower. So, I um. Like the cold. Aliens. Extraterrestrials. Aliens. Aliens, yes. What what do you want to talk about aliens exactly? I'm confused. I, I, like we went over this like three times. Like I, the different. I'm stroking out over here. Son of a. You are bitch. not stro. You're not even playing golf. Oh my freaking head is killing you me. You're headache. like let's let's remember things and talk. I'm dude. I am. You dying. were in your freaking I'm Adidas like one strap flip flops walking on the beach and you get some sand in your vagina. Calm down. You're not dead yet, bro. Look, you don't know that. I do. I could die right now. And someone could win a t-shirt. You could die right sake. now. Okay. Well, only if they hit Who enough wants of the to tickers. win a t-shirt? Jeez. Anyway, so aliens. Now, one thing that gets me is the different kinds of aliens. Talk about reptilians. I think the the reptilians, if, according to Doctor Who, are, hu- are like earthbound things. They're, they're terrestrial. Yeah, Doctor Who is the master of all things. Alien. I know, right? I mean, he knows everything. Like the Tenet. doctor. Was it David, David Tennant, Tennant is the best the, doctor? Wait, wait, I don't was it fucking like any Matt other Shepherd or David. The Tennant next guy was, after uh, was um, Smith or whatever Adam Smith or something. Like that. He was he was know. also amazing. It was David Tennant, and then the second one or the next guy after him grew on me, and then I just stopped watching Matthew after that because I got I don't, Matthew I don't Adams, know. Matthew Smith. Something. I don't know. Chris Eccleston was the best. No. I do not like Eccleston. Eat all the bags. Okay. Of dicks. He had the single greatest episode no in the history think. of a of a Christmas yeah, show. No one dies. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, dude. My mommy. Oh, that shit was creepy as fuck, dude. It was amazing. Oh, it was terrifying. But that ending, though. That ending. Uh, yes, Bridget. He gets migraines. I have... It's called I have... Um, uh, Silent migraines. Really bad blood pressure, Bridget. Like, uh, he has... Oh, he has do- death. He's on blood pressure medication. The last time I went to the doctor, uh, it was 168 over 110. You gotta bump those numbers. Those are amateur and, numbers. Um, you should be like me with my wife. The first time I went, pressure. I was at 192 at 128. So you can fuck right off. Try me. I was right there on death's door. Okay, we were knocking. We were buddies. We were uh, gonna play cards. I was gonna stroke out. I'm not gonna tell you where I was with my stomach surgery. I have white coat, high blood pressure. So anytime I'm like a, an ER situation, my blood pressure just like quadruples. I know because I went for my physical for DOT and <laughs> my blood pressure was totally normal. This doesn't make any sense. Last time you were here for an injury, you had high blood pressure. Hmm, weird. Some shit's happening on my phone. Not even know what the fuck to say anymore. I don't either. So anyway, aliens, extraterrestrials, ETs. We're talking about them. We're talking about Doctor Who. All right, who so is we an have... alien in and of himself. Oh, legit. He, he is yeah. an alien. Anyway, but like actual aliens, the ones that are supposed to actually exist. So the greys, we have the greys, we have the mantis things. Okay, yeah. Right? And then we have the Anunnaki. We have the uh, Anunnaki. Are the, the Anunnaki tall? the big blonde, blue-eyed ones that are uh, yeah, that I'm not talked sure about from what the, uh, hell the Anunnaki are supposed to be. Yeah, the ancient aliens things? No. Those are Anunnaki. They're like, I think they're, uh, they have the big, they have the long heads. They're the ones with the elongated heads, I believe. Oh, the elongated heads? Yeah. I think that's Anunnaki. They have like the longer heads. That's why like the Egyptians and stuff like that were part of the Anunnaki uh, from. Well, they oh, have the, God, the, the, the Nordic aliens or the blonde, blue eyed ones that are supposed to be from wherever that fucking place is called. Um, Bridget says you should go to the ER and chat. Yeah, but... Bridget, I'm, I'm legitimately aware of that, actually. <laughs> are you, You're medicated for your blood pressure, right? 
Oh, heavily medicated for my blood pressure. You guys better be hitting that ticker because someone's getting a t-shirt. Someone's got a t-shirt for me dying today. I mean, if I die. If I if I don't die, should they get a t-shirt still? If I do die, though, they should get something extra. You should get them a, a mug, hoodie. too. Like a mug. Hoodie. A, a mug and a t-shirt? If you die, you get a hoodie. A hoodie. A hoodie with some of your ashes in it. Okay. I'm assuming you want to be cremated because I'm not paying to have you buried. Well, I don't want to be buried. I want to be cremated. Why? Actually, what I want is a Viking burial, so. Uh, okay, well, that's not legal in California, but I'll see what I can do. I mean, I can light you on fire now. Well, I mean, no, I want you I want you and our other brother to go into the woods, chop down the tallest tree, the, the best tree, and build me a small raft. If I boat, chop down the largest tree boat. in the woods where we live, that would be a federal offense. <laughs> well, do you understand that? that? Don't get caught. We are surrounded by giant sequoias. They're protected by law. I want that the one that they people Julia drive through. Butterfly too. would camp on my house. I want, <laughs> I want the one that people drive through. Throw her feces at me. That's or something. the one I want you to build a boat out of for Jesus. me. You're not. I, I got a boat in the backyard. It's aluminum. It'll still light. And actually, um, my my, uh, I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm not going to die. Just in chat. Hey, Eric and chat. Maybe. Nice to see you guys. Look. Okay. So let's talk about aliens before you die, because you were actually calming yourself before you go back and mm, blood pressure, mm, stroke. I hate you. <laughs> you had a long day at work and you're tired. You're not. Your blood pressure is fine. I hope Dave Shock wins the hoodie. No, because I have to. You know how much it would cost to buy a hoodie that fucking big? Well, I mean, you also have to figure out how to Jesus. get my dead body off this floor. I have a sawzall. Oh, you'll be good. Never mind then. I, I want to be fed to pigs, actually. I want to go to something Why? good. No, that's something good. That's not going to work. Anyway, aliens. Where were we? We're like in the Fuck middle of a different me. conversation currently. <laughs> you just keep rabbit trailing all over the fucking I'm place. I'm sorry. You're a little rusty My stroke on this, is man. killing me. You're not having a stroke. I'm probably having a stroke. No, you're not. You're just tired from work. No. I'm actually fine. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my God. Anyway. Yep. I don't even smell like death yet. So, um, oh, I know this. the different I kinds of aliens. Know. We have the Nordics... The Greys, the Mantis aliens. Now, I've heard. Have you heard the theory that they're all part of one big conglomerate? Okay, that's first off. That is from Battlefield Earth, and also games like XCOM. That's that's where people get this idea. I think it predates Battlefield Earth and no. XCOM. X- Do you know what Battlefield Earth is? It's like World War Two yeah. era, I believe. No, no. How Are you fucking War? on crack cocaine? It's one of the wars. It comes. No, it's no. Like, it's like seventy-two or World like War Two era. My ass. You sorry, know who wrote sorry. Battlefield. I'm Earth? not. I can't fucking think Good right now. Okay, Lord. it's like 1972 or something like that. That's my bad. Dude, the idea that there's an a- alien conglomerate's been around about died. the same time that Elrond decided he was going to write about aliens. It's all Look. been the same kind of Look. Okay. thing. Uh, my thetan levels are pretty high, so <laughs> then you're you not going to have a stroke. You're going to live for fucking ever. You shouldn't worry about it. High thetans. What was this? I'm not ruining bacon. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, in chat. What about blonde-haired, blue-eyed Nordic aliens? LOL. Uh, those are Aryans. Bridget? No, no, they're Nordics. <laughs> Aryans. God. We're not talking politics. We're talking extraterrestrial <laughs> politics. <laughs> Talk politics. What do you think about the gray aliens, man? Like, people always have... You know, are those the ones, like... Here's the, here, no, sorry. I'm not interrupting. Fuck that. Go for it. No, no, no. Go no, because I'm just going to no, go off on a rabbit trail. You're always going to... know I'm going to do You're going to so rabbit go, trail like go. a motherfucker. You go. Let's do this professionally. This I was just going to bring up the fact that, like, the gray, the first time I ever saw the visage, if you would, of a gray alien was on that cover of that fucking book Whitley Strieber wrote, Communion. Oh, yeah. That fucking about shit. his so called encounter and his abduction experiences. Now, I call that cost people I'm to not freak calling out, Whitley Strieber out and shitting on him as a person because I've never met the dude. I've never spoken to him. I would like to have him on the show one day. But the fact is, the guy has changed his story about 47,000 times. That doesn't hold up in a court of law. Not that it matters. I know it's a traumatic experience. But Homeboy said his guts were removed and put back in. Okay, hold on. Amongst other things. Hold on. What? Got really awkward in chat. So, <clears throat> no. So, so the thing about... God. I think I'm really... Like, this is why we can't have... I think my brain doesn't work chat. Because I just forgot everything I was going to say. Whitley Strieber. Great oh, aliens. Yeah. The, uh, the book Communion. That I remember uh, they were talking about that on... I think it was ancient aliens or something like that, and how a bunch of people freaked out, like hundreds of people freaked out from the side of it because they had the, they had visions of those things. Yeah, I don't know. Like I know that I've had, uh... I've had some of the strangest fucking dreams. In my life. I will say this right now because I have no fucking um, 
I have no fucks to give in my life. I have had dreams where I am in a dark room, like dark, dead dark, and I will wake up suddenly because I have a pressure on my fucking legs. And there ain't shit there. Oh, are you sleeping on your back? Yeah. That's why. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, that's why. That's what, okay, so Hold I... On. Hold on. I'm I'm not saying I have pressure on my legs. I had pressure on my ass. And nothing was there. And not directly that. And I I I I Honor. I'm gonna man. say this right now. I was concerned that uh my ex wife was attempting to do things to me in my sleep. That was awkward and creepy. I, okay, so if you're laying on your back see, because I used to get night terrors quite a bit. Actually, I funny story, the last night terror I ever had was much different than the rest of them because I actually thought that I was watching gray aliens come out of the wall, walking the light opened up, they came out and they were grabbing me. I started kicking and fighting back. And one of them in his head said, this one's fighting back. Let's go. And they left and I woke up. So what happens is with the night terrors, hypnagogic, hypnopompic stage. We talked about this on the show. You go into a deep sleep or you're coming out of a deep. Sleep. So when you have nightmares, your brain is trying to help you. When you sleep, your body goes into like a healing uh, stasis kind of thing. You're trying to heal it. It's trying to heal itself. So your brain is taking all the stress. I always feel pressure. <laughs> your brain Chat. is taking all that stress and trying to, uh, and all that pain and trying to make it into something that makes sense in your, in your psyche. And so <clears throat> when you're in a situation, like when you're back sleeping, because a lot of times when you're under super duress while you're sleeping, <laughs> your body's still trying to save itself. Trying to keep your keep you alive. Yeah. So if you sleep on your back, like I, I don't look like it, but I have a bigger neck than it looks like. So I, Wait, I have am, another question. Though. Should I be smoking a cigar if I'm having this kind of issue right now? Oh yeah, lower your blood pressure. Don't inhale. Um. So makes sense. Yeah, don't smoke cigarettes though; they're full of rat poison. Anyway, <laughs> so because of the size of my neck, <laughs> I am. Um, it's possible that I could suffer sleep apnea. Yes, what they told me. I don't. But I could. I thought it was just a reference to how fat I am. No, it's it's your neck size because you, your airways get shut off. So when I'm sleeping on my back, the pressure goes a certain direction and it starts to suffocate me. My body starts to suffocate. So my nightmares wake me up. My subconscious goes, hey, you got to fucking wake up. So I have these night terrors. It's like one of those <clears throat> when you're going to sleep and you're partway asleep and like you dream that you trip, but you wake up. Because your body's worried that the stress is going to kill you. So it wakes you up to keep you alive, kind of thing. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like a... It's, it's, so it's that's sick. where most of these abduction things... Because it wasn't aliens back in the day. It was an old witch that would come in. It okay, was so, what was in the, in the, in the, uh, the known, in the zeitgeist at the time. That's what would be the attacker in these night terrors. That's where a lot of this stuff comes from. Yeah, I, I imagine that's probably part of it. I mean, nowadays we don't worry about witches and stuff like that. Well, I do. So, I mean, I don't, but... I'm always worried that they're not going to watch my show and subscribe. Witches. They should. Oh, like witches. Oh, yeah, no, they're cool. should always like and subscribe and share. Share, like, and subscribe. Let's do this, people. Come on. Across the board, too. All Everybody. over the social media. Everybody. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is my wife trying to kill me. Thank you. So, if I had to say anything towards um, abduction and aliens and sleep, I've actually, it makes me think, because I've always had this, I've been of this opinion, like, humanity is an interesting species in one regard. I've always thought humanity Just was essentially one. a lotus. Well, a lotus, a locust. Say that properly. Like, really? think, think about it like this. I think we're, we're, we're creatures of war and rebellion. We're always fighting something. No matter what, people will say, no, that's not true. We all fight. We fight no, I think we're just somewhere. arrogant cunts. No, no, no. We're not creatures of war. We're, we're just good at it. We're, we're creatures of war, if you look at us. We're always fighting. We always want to fight. We always have some sort of an edge. And we're always looking for something, some kind of a rebellion, a war, or someone to fight against. See, and the I, thing is, is when we, when we run out of things, we begin to backbite and infight against things that are good. Like things that are, that are great to us. We begin to get, we get restless. I don't think we'll locusts do any of that shit. Well, hold on. Let me put it like this. <laughs> Imagine something that puts you on this planet, and it just wanted to see what potential you had to do things. Okay. It's like, what, what are your potentials for war? 
What are your potentials for like? What do we do? We we do that with robots. We do that now with robots. What are their potentials for fighting? What are their potentials for anything? So what if something much more advanced that That's understood? That's not where robots are going on. these days. Well, I mean, yeah, saying. nowadays we're kind of we're trying to figure out what they can do other ways. We're trying to figure out how to <clears> fuck <throat> it. That might skew your uh, your, your but, argument there a little hold bit. Hold on, buddy. but what if what if um, you know coming up with genetic engineering something could genetically engineer our species? It created us. It put us on this planet to see what our potential was. It set us on a planet in the middle of nowhere. It set us as far away from other life as possible. That way we're basically contained and safe. What about deer or fish okay, or well, microbes? Uh, we needed something to eat, snails. didn't we? Or pigeons. No, Dave, you haven't won a hoodie yet. Sorry. Sorry, hoodie. Not No hoodie just yet. Oh, God. Never I too tired hoodie. for a good probing. Oh, good. I'm glad, oh, Dr. That's nice. Bridget. That's nice to hear. It's good to hear, everybody. Let's get a good probing going. I, I, I need a private <laughs> consultation though, for real, real, because I might no, have a blood clot. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I need one too, just because I'm pretty sure. Oh I no, 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 you're fine. Out. You're a hypochondriac. I might actually die, which would be really. The upsetting. pressure at the top of my head does not agree with you. Eh, you don't drink enough. Oh, thank you. Water. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. Delicious artisan water. Artisan water. Artesian, artesian water. water. I saw uh, an anyways, artesian. anyways, what I was saying was, imagine like. If an alien species that could genetically uh, modify or, you know, can, could create something. And it created us, and it set us on this Earth, uh, essentially this planet that was already seeded with some sort of life, but out in the middle of nowhere, essentially like a biodome. And it gave us everything we needed to thrive just to see what we would do and how would we re- how we'd react. That explains Polly Shore so much more deeply. I mean, it does explain biodome. Really well. We're saving the mahi-mahi. Damn it. Try to think globally. I'm not dead yet. You don't get your hoodie till I'm dead. Oh, no, no, you have okay. to stroke out. Uh, on his leg, Bridget. Uh, probably my foot, actually. Oh, this foot, probably. Thank it's you. fine. You know what? If, if it gets too bad, I'll just cut part of it off. Yeah. And it gets, just, get another leg. I'll just take my head off if it gets too much. I know. I'm, no, I'm so nonchalant about this crap. Like, I've been oh, walking God. around this i am like, I, I legitimately, I legitimately could, like, because my head really does fucking hurt. I'm not playing it off on you. I'm not joking. Like, my shit really does hurt. And I'm fucking pale, and I'm like... You're I'm all not, fucked up right now. You but look pretty normal. You're not mm-hmm. even sweaty. Oh. Fine. Oh, well, okay then. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for that. Anywho. So, so something put us on here to see what our, our, our capacity for war is. And then maybe it took what it needed a long time ago, which is why we have like ancient alien technology, like pyramids, things that we can't do nowadays. It took what it needed from us when it did. It left us stuff, but then it didn't need us anymore. So basically it just forgot us and left us on the middle of nowhere. And now it doesn't come to visit us anymore. Where are you, Papa? Where are you, Papa Alien? alien come back daddy, to us. Daddy Alien. alien Describe daddy. the symptoms and let me see it. Bridget, later, and ch- <laughs> I will message you after the Look, show. Dave, and I, let you know my fat ass, my fat blood. bastard ass will hurry up and die as soon as I can, okay? It's, I'm not trying it's not to great. rush it right now. It's either a blood clot or uh, or an infection. And I took some, like, uh, I always save some. I'm trying to go towards the light. It just won't show so up. I took some. See if it works. Why is Chat trying to kill both of us right now? <laughs> no, dude, chat's not chat's trying like, to kill. Chat's me. like, "Fuck Jack. He needs to die no on this stream right here, die. right now. He needs to stroke out. Let's do this. Let's get this stroke going. It'll get look. hits. It'll okay, get hits. So aliens, anyway, anyway because I can't okay. do. Th- I can't yeah. die not having this conversation. Oh yeah, over. that's a good point. So Jesus um, Christ. Anyways, aliens. So the point is that it's like something that left us here. We were an experiment, and it left us on this planet. And so essentially, it doesn't come back to us. Or? I think this is a, this is a theory I've been thinking about for a long time ago. It's not oh, something it's I not believe yours, per se. It's a theory. Something, it's something you're going. With. It's a theory I'm working on because here's the thing: is, is it makes sense when you think about it? Because we have no purpose. We serve no purpose. We always ask what the meaning of life is, but we serve no real purpose. Not, not in the grand true. scheme of the universe or life or anything like that. We are in the middle of nowhere. We are a species that is intelligent and capable, but how intelligent and how capable? Like, what is our purpose? Our purpose is war. That is what it is, and that's why I say like. If if a species does exist that knows we we're here, it's not coming anywhere near us. And the reason for that is because if they fuck around, they fuck up, and we manage to get the edge on them, and we take their technology, we will re- we will find a way to 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 turn that into our our advantage, and we will go find them, and we will spread like a disease across the universe. I just I want to point something out that comes to uh, the idea of survival and how life works in general, and I know different planets are are going to function slightly differently, but life works a certain way. And the fact is, 
if a more advanced civilization comes to a lesser advanced civilization, it doesn't work out well for the lesser advanced civilization. That's a theory you're working on there. It's not a theory. It's a, it's a historical fact. Tell that to most of the people who ever owned like slave cultures. Because those cultures usually rose up eventually and ate them. Because arrogance and stupidity will always cost you. And if you're even a most intelligent species would look Name at us like one. ants. Name one. Yeah, dogs haven't eaten us Hebrew. yet. The Hebrew. What, the Irish. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the Irish, Irish screwed their way to the top. I'm just telling you right now. No. No, 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 no. I, as much as I hate to the say Scottish. it, as being thoroughly of Irish descent, When the Romans showed up to destroy the Scottish, how did that go for them? They had to build a wall. They couldn't even manage to get in there. The Mongols rode right across. They were they were they were less advanced than most civilizations. They were just horse archers, basically. No, no, that's a load of crap. Okay, hold on. No, get off that shit. Okay, the, the Huns were not less. The Huns advanced. and the Mongols were not the as strong as Rome in advancements or the Greek. Oh god, they were less advanced in these cultures. And when they showed up, they used basic tactics. They used real guerrilla warfare, by the way, and they managed to wipe out large chunks of the world. So you're telling me that these these obviously civilizations that had more people, more horses, which is how they won, might I, might I add, but they wouldn't have been able to hold it for long. So, I, d I don't mean to break this to you too much, but you know, Genghis Khan is related to eighty something percent of the population of the entire world, or he, more. I, I don't believe that. No, it's it's genetically proven God. with DNA and stuff. Genghis Khan done fucked everybody. You do. Good Genghis Khan. We're not here to fight. We're here to plow. Okay, first off, you're wrong. We're here to fight and spread. No, we're like we're uh, farmers. A we're a plague. Spread in the sea. We are a plague. No, you know what? Locusts are not a plague, and locusts don't build things. Locusts eat things, and they do locust things. They consume. You know what locusts do? They bang and eat, and, much and like sharks. What do we do when we've consumed something we no longer? I tell you what. When the locusts get on. together and they put together a podcast and start hardwiring and programming computers, and I'll let you have an argument. Well, I'll tell you what. If they were genetically Good engineered Lord. to be intelligent. And capable of doing these things, then yes, I would agree with you. Okay, if we're genetically engineered, then why are we so bullshit right now? Because we aren't. Because we got left or in we? the dust. They took what they needed when they needed it. They found out we were good enough, and then they left the rest then why behind. Why did they come back? They didn't. That's the point. They're not coming back. That's why nothing's happening now. That's why it doesn't exist. That's why we're looking at ancient things, not current things. They're not, not coming true. back. No, people are. No, the whole argument came back up because people are talking about. Recent sightings of UFOs and things like that. That's that's why this argument comes, okay, well, keeps coming up. Hold on, that's a, that's 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 a good working theory. Maybe just scouts that are watching us. Something that's making sure that we haven't gotten the ability to go into space. Like alien nanny cam. Yeah, essentially something that's monitoring us, making sure we don't go into space, making <laughs> okay, sure that we on. don't have the technology are we the to go. Special Ed Planet? Is that? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're the There's dangerous ducks. Okay, hold on. We'll leave the ducks with them. Do you think the they ducks leave will the watch flu? These idiots. Do you think they just leave the flu in the middle of a room and just don't worry about it? Or do they have it in a contained location where it, it's not going to get out? Well, why? Why would you think the flu couldn't just develop on its own? I mean, it can. But when they the, the things they remember, genetically modify, the things War that we genetically modify. Hold on, the things we genetically modify, the diseases, the animals we test on. Do you think? They just let them roam free or do you think they watch them and they keep them contained yeah they could well, destroy why? us but I, perhaps not, they're trying to figure out what we could do i'm not certain that cows are that big a threat to go into so, space and so hold on like ruin other cultures no, no, in no, space. No, no, hold on these things aren't aren't modified like we would be the, what i'm saying is we were modified to be intelligent so and we're to grow modified so cows and to are learn. modified yeah these are just basic then animals that were left here for food keep fucking with cows they were left here for food they're i don't know but why do aliens keep maybe they eat them? cows Maybe they drink blood. Maybe they're chupacabras. Anyways. So are you saying cows might come from another planet? I have no idea. And they idea. just ran. They, these this super high advanced species didn't plan ahead I'm to talking about humanity. ration I, food I, I, on their flight over to Earth to monitor the retard species, kids. Well, like, we're the special ed class of the aliens. Here's the thing. And the bright ones left as cows. If they're intelligent, they forgot to bring if they're cows intelligent, the flight back here. And they're an intelligent species. So they have to they would put multiple different environments. They would have different environments. They'd have different food groups. They'd have many different things to see what we would do. They would need to see us in every light. They'd need to understand that. Because here's the thing. We can adapt to almost any kind of environment, really. We've found ways to adapt to almost any environment. And that is, I imagine, why they still watch us like a scientist. I don't know. I watched that video of that Chinese chick falling into the uh, lava. That we didn't I didn't say every single one of them is intelligent. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's clear that... It's not funny because It's she, clear the poof, original bloodline is slightly no, done. No, dude. Like, here's the thing, man. I don't think that there's alien species that put us down here. I know that... that, 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 that um, the alien movie, poor, poor, 
poor thing tried to be an alien. Broke my heart. What movie? No, oh, the one that was supposed to be a precursor to all the... Oh, Prometheus? Prometheus. Or yeah. the, the one afterwards was that was Prometheus. kind of just... Ugh. I tried to watch both of them. I finished Prometheus after it felt like four days. Uh, Here's the fucked up part. Not good. I'm about to tell you and everybody in the world something fucked up. I like Prometheus. I thought it was deep. Yeah, it was a wellspring of shit. No, it was actually it was really well Bad thought out. Movie. It was it really was, well thought. Everything, a everything there. If you're you're willing to actually do the research, because they the, the fucked up part is you have to like you had to go to a website that explains part of the story to actually get what was happening, and that's retarded. That's not that's, why I that's, watch that's fucking movies. Yeah, I know you don't want to go do research, but the point is, is if that's you actually like, did the okay, research, do you it's remember the good. viral marketing campaign for the Andromeda Strain series they did? No. First of all, the Andromeda Strain was an excellent book. Michael Crichton, never saw it. I never excellent, read it. excellent book. It's a very short book to read. It's a Maybe great a book, a lot of cool stuff. You wouldn't expect it. Would you suggest it? Yeah, I absolutely would suggest most of Michael Crichton's work, actually, mm-hmm. if you have the time. Okay, so like Congo, uh, if you're really in technology and you like to drink and read, it's a great, great book to read. Um, it's going to be very boring now because it's all written in uh, terms that were salient back then. A lot of technology stuff that is no longer useful. Um, nothing like the movie, by the way. Uh, throwing that out there. No Ernie Hudson at all. Um, but yeah, no Andromeda Strain. So there was this viral marketing thing that what happened and blah, blah, blah. And there was like these people getting murdered and stuff on these films that came out, like on these, uh, sir- s- closed circuit camera things going on. And it was just a marketing campaign for a mini series they made about the Andromeda strain. Well, yeah. Okay. But I mean, they did that with Cloverfield. They did that with Blair Witch. Uh, I mean, Blair Witch was an interesting one because that was when the internet was first around. The Blair Witch still kills me because I, I found out it wasn't real before I went to see it in the theater. Well, I mean, everyone else around me thought it was real. That's just. Yeah. Cause, uh, before it was released, the actors were on MTV talking about being in the movie. I thought they had to disappear for a couple of months. No. Right before the release. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's stupid. I mean... I, <sighs> no, it was well done. Excellent. I'm not hating on the Blair Witch at all. They and, That was a really cool way to do a movie, because they scared the shit out of those people. <laughs> no, they, you know what? Did you ever watch that that uh, film theory about it that I told you to watch? No. You should. Seriously. I watch might it. have. I was probably drinking. It's pretty good. Watch it. It's it's They, they, so, they do a really good job on Aliens that. again. Um, oh, aliens, yeah. What about the Mantis aliens? What do you think about those? They're like the more mechanically styled that do most of the operating. Do you think it's, again, do you, do you feel like it's different species of aliens or do you feel like people are just all on, on all the drugs? Like you know what I think on? is that, I think it's a species, I think if aliens exist and we are in fact, they're monitoring us to see what we do and they're, they're trying to learn how we learn and they're just watching us to make sure we don't become a danger, mm-hmm. that maybe they also want to see what fear receptors are like. So that perhaps because they could they could they could do shit to you while you're asleep. So, you so they know how to mess with your head. Do you think maybe it's just one kind of alien it's probably, altering their image in your psyche? They could literally just look like us. I, I remember because we did our black eyed kid episode. You know what that that you talked about exactly. Like, so you think maybe it's a, a it's psychological. A, it's psychologically of trying to see how we view them. I, they psychologically do pick a terrifying image. So they're able to get into our brains. Yeah, they're, well, they yeah, they definitely can. Yeah, and so if they, they if they exist, yeah. if they if they exist, they exist, but they definitely can. They definitely can get into our heads, and they're probably messing around and put projecting an image that they want to project. They're trying to see maybe they're trying to see which one could be more calming. Like people aren't afraid of insects. Maybe they're not afraid of this. They're trying to see what people are afraid of, or they're trying to see what people aren't afraid okay, of. Okay, first of all, if they've been watching this Either species, way, I don't know, any longer than ten minutes, and they they're, they're not, thinking that then they, they would just be giant insects? spiders. And they think that insects are a nice, calming thing. It's just fucking calming people. Most people are not cool with insects, bro. Well, maybe the, this this person, or maybe most of these people have a background of not minding insects. Maybe they collect them. I don't know. Maybe they're, just, they're maybe people collect gray aliens, and that's why it's gray aliens. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, it, it 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 it's 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 all conjecture, really. I mean, it's it, we we can't prove aliens. Well, it's all hypothetical. Because here's the thing. Other governments have come out and said that aliens exist. Well, they've come out and said fly, the UFOs exist. We know UFOs exist for a fact. We don't know that actual aliens exist. 
I mean, yeah, okay, that's. that's I don't. I don't point. know. That I, I could be wrong. And guys, correct me and let me know with an email or in chat if if, if governments come out and if a government's come out and said aliens, act, extraterrestrials actually exist. I'm pretty sure I don't Russia believe coming out. anyone ever has. I think it's been UFOs. Yeah. They've said that UFOs are a thing, but that could be all UFO, just unidentified flying object. You know what I mean? That could be anything. Jack's not stroking yet. Stroke of sweatshirt. We're looking forward to that time of the day. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Don't stroke out yet. We should have, uh, if we ever do hoodies, we should always, we should just remember this and have one special release of Jack's stroke watch. <laughs> we'll have a, a hoodie that has like one side of the hoodie, like the hood comes down a little further on the face, so you can't really get it out of the way. It covers your <laughs> eye a little bit. It's like that's, stroke that's, watch hoodie. That's super fucked up. <laughs> that is pretty fucked up. Uh, anyway, so no, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of it is psychological. I think it's just just poking and prodding at people to see what they do. Because here's the thing: maybe it's also that they're trying to get enough people to release that there's information out there. Because if you just came out and said, "Well, hey, aliens exist," if aliens just showed up tomorrow, there'd be war, there'd be no, riots, there'd no, be deaths. No, 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 I don't think there so. There would be prob. No, there would be. There would be. There's no way. There's no I, way to say that there would. I be. I don't believe that. I think people would be in such a state of shock or non-shock. That I don't think it would change much, man. Dude, honestly. hold on. When War of the Worlds, when H, what H.P. Wells, H.P. Wells did his broadcast of War of the Worlds, H. people G. killed themselves. So- H. H. G. H.P. H.P. Lovecraft. Hewlett H. G. Packard Wells. Wells. I was thinking of H.P. Lovecraft for some reason. H.G. <laughs> Wells. <laughs> when he did his War of the Worlds um, broadcast, they had to cut it short, and he had to warn people that it was a story, and he kept having to warn, and people didn't well, catch he it. Started it that way. They, they fucking people killed themselves. People started going crazy. Because they thought there were aliens and they were all going to die, and so they started acting insane. People start. That's what would happen. Is you have to realize that those people out there who are who are open to thought are one thing, but there's yeah, a large chunk of this population who are essentially just still animals. It's a different mindset. Uh, well, at least okay. So we can only talk for our culture here in America. It's a different, completely different mindset. I'm talking about even in America, everywhere. No, no. I'm saying it's a different mindset because back then we weren't inundated with ideas and visuals of extraterrestrials. The idea wasn't a common. Thing. It was well, a maybe that's what they're doing now. And weird thing is people were up. so used to the news being on the radio because that's what you do at night. You'd go home, the fireplace would be lit, okay, and yeah, story well. time was replaced by the story time on the airwaves. Kind of like what we're doing now. Story time has been yeah. replaced. It's been changed. It, it, it's a constant. But now we are so used to having different streams of information and ideas. It's a different mindset, man. I think that after all the movies and all the talk about it like our shows and tons of other shows talking about extraterrestrials i think that it wouldn't be such a huge deal even the vatican came out and said, like oh you know what uh we'll take a break from our the vatican we'll take a break from our kid touching and explain that if aliens showed up it yeah. wouldn't change our beliefs in god mm. they didn't cool. take a break they started attracting so they could do it faster oh god it's good run i stand up line you time i need to make stand up line yeah, I'm using your line. No hate on the Catholics. I'm stealing it. We love the Catholics, just not the kid touchers. Yeah, that's. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, no one likes. Uh, well, kid we don't touchers. need to go back down this road again. That's... That ruined one comedy act. <laughs> so I continue down ruining the show with that shit. I like to offend people. It's just, uh, yeah, I love to offend people, but that's not the point. No love for kid touchers. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I don't care if you offend kid touchers, but uh, we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> just condemn them. And then move on. <laughs> Anyways. So, okay. Why do people like aliens? It's a Hold great on. movie by Ridley Scott. Does it, not, does it not occur to people that aliens are technically rapists? And everybody's like, no. we want to meet aliens. I mean. We want to know aliens. Okay, so but they for the record, fucked up guys, shit to people, okay? Jack is probably having a stroke, but the reality of it is Whitley Strieber did come out and say he felt like he was raped. Verbatim. Yeah, I mean, it's just mostly my stroke so, talking at this point. But clarify that. I, yeah, I mean, okay. they take I you, they do that. things you don't want. Yeah, I mean, you're cattle to them or a, a scientific project. Well, I, so the but, aliens, but okay, so here's the thing, yeah. though. Do, are, they, are they subject to our moral guidelines? Is that, are we going to get Is that moral guidelines political with aliens? Is that a thing we can do? Is that, they're real? Is that, that kind of pushes some envelopes there. Here's the thing. You have to put them on a different level. Because to us, if aliens exist, we're do insects. You? Or do you? Or can you? Do you? Do you concern yourself with the idea of whether or not ants have feelings or, or uh, morals? Yes, actually. Some. Well, then, 
one person does, but the vast majority isn't going to even think I mean, about I it. I mean, I don't, once. I don't burn up ants with a, a magnifying glass, but if an ant's on me or in my food, then it's dead. Dead. You're dead. Yeah, oh, you're getting out of here. But that's what I'm saying is, is we don't concern ourselves with ants. Why would a species that's so far advanced concern itself whether or not of do a moral code? you know how code? fucking so, cool ants are? What do we do to animals? Like, if you look at dogs and cats and stuff like that, we test on them, but we never concern ourselves whether or not yeah, we're messing with the moral code. Fuck them. Oh, or is it a moral code? that we're, <laughs> Most should of us we, don't fuck those animals, though. It doesn't mean they're fucking us. It just means that they're doing something to oh, us. Yeah, they're testing us. Them? Like, it doesn't mean that they're, they're just trying to mess. I don't know what they're doing with that shit. You don't know what they're doing. They, oh, did, okay, so... Here, Interestingly enough, there was uh, recently maybe they're harvesting it was China and somewhere else that actually bisected the spine of dogs and cats, and were actually able to put them back together and bring the, the animals back to life. Okay, well that's what I'm saying. What science so, science has them no back to life though, dude. Man. Okay, so humanity has the idea that science has right. no no totally no limit. This we we're willing to push anything. It's like, and I don't know if I should say this because it's kind of political. And I don't really want to. Well, then don't. Yeah, so it, it's kind of it's kind of like talking about my point. But here's the thing: science science has no um, has no real boundaries. So you got to think it that's what have boundaries. Hold on, but that's your moral code. But a scientist who's actually involved well, in something isn't going to have that. There isn't. So you agreed have to think upon that upon moral code. If that's the species why... that's visiting us isn't going to have moral codes. Listen, there's an agreed upon moral code with humans and science. That's why the monster in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein wasn't. The monster, it was Dr. Frankenstein, and the people that attacked and killed the monster, Frankenstein's quote, monster, those were the bad guys. It was Dr. Frankenstein, because Frankenstein was not the monster, and the people that were scared of him. That was the boundaries there, because you're supposed to have some kind of limitation on how you handle these. They're supposed to be, but we as humans have that. Overall, most people... Regardless of where you're raised and how you're raised, you know as a kid there are certain things you're supposed to do and not do. You feel guilty if you did, even if you haven't been told this is bad and you do something terrible, you feel guilty about it. It's okay, a well, normal part of the human process. That's I, I, We're wired a certain no, way. No, I, I agree that we have these moral standings, but I'm just saying that don't, you know, you can't equate that with, with these particular groups of people or groups of creatures doing this. Whatever well, know, these aliens that's, are doing. That's what I'm trying to get to is the, the difference there, the differentiation. Perhaps there's a different sect of these these aliens that lives much like everyday people. They're just watching what the scientists do. And they maybe they maybe they have their own people standing up saying, Don't do that to them. And that's what why if, they haven't done it fully yet. What if South Park's right and we're in a reality TV show? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Messed up. But they're watching us right now, like God. This you is, know how pissed I would be? These guys are amazing. Dude, that, that reminds me of that uh uh, that documentary about the flat earth was it on the curve or about the curve or whatever where it taught the guy references the Truman show way too many times okay. for reality why it comes up many times because he's talking about the dome or the flat earth and he keeps bringing up the Truman show I'm like dude you're a paranoid schizophrenic <laughs> like, like look at Alex Jones he came out recently after all the crap and he did get some some shit for stuff he didn't actually do. I know, guys, I'm not being apologetical for Alex Jones too much. I'm not his biggest fan. There were things he didn't say that he got represented that he said. There were things that his fans did that he got blamed for. Shit like yeah, that. But he is, he came out recently and said, look, dude, I'm going through a psychosis. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. He did it in court. He's like, look, I'm going through a psychosis that makes me paranoid. Our dad is a, a paranoid schizophrenic. I mean, I'm awfully paranoid all the fucking time. Like, I'm always paranoid. Well, it's just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. You can be careful versus paranoid. Paranoid and delusional, that's when it becomes a problem. Everyone should be very careful of their surroundings all the time. Even people around you. Dude, I watched that fucking Abducted in Plain Sight documentary. Holy shit. You should be very careful of your surroundings all the time. The people yeah. around you, you should be leery. You should be because... You have X amount of time on this planet. You exist however long you exist, but here in this particular whatever, whether your body or spirit, whether your spirit goes on or not, different story, but your body goes on for X amount of time, and that can get cut short, and you don't know what you're doing or what the people around you are doing. You have to focus on things. Very, very careful. I watched a video earlier, like yesterday, earlier this week, yesterday, the day before, 
where this guy jumped out of his car at this chick and went to attack her. And he thought he was going to have an easy target. And she was struggling back and reaching for her hip, and she busted at her gun and killed his ass. She was prepared. Rightly so. Not prepared enough. Because, <laughs> well. you know, if you're prepared enough, you wouldn't have to fire that round. Yeah. But, and not blaming her at all. Kudos to you, girl. I'm all about self-defense for sure. But this, like, abducted in plain sight thing. You guys, by the way, I would suggest watching this documentary. Um, don't plan on doing anything else with your day after that. Uh, like, just have a, a beer, have a stogie, eat a casserole. I don't know. Whatever you do to, to, like, bring your brain around to it. Don't let your kids watch it kind of thing. Oh, crap, I got to get going. But get what you need from that. I got to go. Aliens are not involved, but they are involved. You, what do you mean you got to go? I got to Dude, I was supposed to be going, no, like, beams of two hours ago. You. Where are you going again? I'm taking a trip to La La Land. You're actually going out of town to where, though? Are you going somewhere important or just leaving? No, I'm just leaving. Taking a drive, basically, for a long time. Are you sure you should do that? Maybe not. I'm stroking out. Then you're not stroking I'm probably just going to go home and go to sleep, actually. <laughs> a lot different than going on a long drive. If you're that stressed yeah. about actually having a stroke, you probably shouldn't do that. I'm just probably just go home and sleep, then. All right, well... <laughs> We're almost at an hour anyway, guys. Thank you again for watching Vanishing Gates. I'm your host, Jay. This has been... <sighs> What's my name? Broke out, Jack. No. <laughs> Stroking Jack. You're not... The Stroke Jack. No one's doing that. Stroke Jack. You're not faking a stroke so okay, Dave can a have point. a fucking sweatshirt. Dave deserves a sweatshirt. <sighs> Everyone deserves a sweatshirt. Dave deserves a sweatshirt. No one deserves oh, no, anything. Deserve to work. Talking That's about polite. Weird. Um, uh, we'll be back soon uh, next week. Going to be around next week for the next show. Should be. All right. So we'll we'll catch you guys next week. Don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe, all across the board. Share the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. Will you not headbutt the microphone? I just bought. Uh, Podbean, Stitcher. Why are you looking iTunes, at me? I don't freaking know. Google Plus. I'm trying to remember. I, We're all over the board. My name is Steve right now. I don't shit. And also, guys, thank you again for watching, sharing, and liking, and following Supreme. If you have stories to explain, if you have guests you want us to talk to, send us an email at vanishinggates at gmail.com. Or send, a, send them our way anyways. Yeah. You don't have to have them send email them us. us. We're open for that. Uh, don't forget to follow our Twitter that I almost never use, aside from yeah. checking to see how many Twitter follows I have, and once in a while, hey, here's the show. So, I mean, yeah. All yeah. right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. All we'll right. Catch you later. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, everybody. I'm not doing that, am I? No. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Is that a song? I don't know. If you break out in the song and dance, I know you broke. I could. Theoretically.